Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we would be going through G Develop 5 Beta 105, which is which was released 17 hours ago at the time of recording this and at the moment it's still a pre-release so Beta 104 is still set as the latest release. Okay, so we would be going through the improvements and the bug fixes. So which I feel is the top improvements of this version so far would be the add the GDVL game showcase in a tab of the new project window. Also um, improve the stop page a link to the GDevelop YouTube channel, more icons and a link to the showcase. Submit your games to the showcase. So let's go through this showcase. So go to GDevelop. This is currently GDevelop 5 Beta 105. I downloaded this off the GitHub repo and also this would not update yet because this is still a pre-release. And once it becomes um, the latest release, once it's made the latest release, this uh, latest.yml would appear in this version in GDevelop 5 Beta 105, which should enable um, all GDevelop versions to update to this version. So this is for pre-release, that's why we still don't have the latest.yml here. Okay, so let's head back to GDevelop also, just in case you want to test out the pre-release. You can download it from this page based on your OS. We have this for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So basically, you can just download it from this page. Okay, so let's head back to GDevelop. Let's take a look at the Game Showcase tab. And before that, as you can see, we now have this icons on the start page, the game, to develop games, the community forum icon, and help and tutorials. And this is the YouTube icon which was added, which should um, redirect you to GDevelop YouTube channel. Okay, so let's go into our project. Uh, let's create a new project. So if we head into our game showcase tab, we should be able to see this. Basically, this is it. This is the game showcase tab, which was added. This should display a list of games made with GDevelop. Okay, so I made a post about this where you can submit your games. You can also right here, there is a button to submit your game. I would also leave a link in the description just in case you want to submit your game. I'll leave a link in the description of this video and you click on that link. This should, um, this should provide you with a page like this and basically you just fill in all of your details of email, title, author, description and once it's ready it would be added to the games showcase tab okay so that's it for the games showcase tab so the next improvements of this version would be add normalize expression a map a value between minimum and maximum to a value between 0 and 1 okay that's an expression in GDevelop Also, add condition to check if any key is released. Let's take a look at this. I'll head back into GDevelop and create a new project. Empty game. Okay, let's add a scene, new scene, and let's go into our events. Okay, so this is a condition to check if any key is released. So add a condition, and there we go, that's it. This is the condition to check, um, test if any key is released. Okay, so for the last improvements of this version, we have add help link for add mob actions and conditions. Let's, so let's take a look at this. Okay, into our new scene events, add an event, add an action, we'll just search add mob. We'll type in, okay, add mob, hide banner, and this should be the help for this action. 
Like I said in the last video of uh, what's new in Battle 104, the ad map was changed. It brought some features where you had to place in the app ID for your iOS and Android separately in your project manager. So basically once we click on help for this action, it should take us to the um, help of the ad map displaying how to configure the new ad map in G develop so basically we have this and um, this is it right here this is the ad mob app id for um, android and for ios okay so that's it that's the last improvement for this version and now let's take a look at the bugs okay for the bug fixes we have fixed how map not refreshed when the JSON file change that has to do with the new thumbup feature which was added in the last version of GDevelop and which was GDevelop 5 Battle 104. So fixed thumbup not showing the specified layer in index mode. Okay, fixed thumbup not working in web app. Yeah, I'm sure this, this was not working in the web app. Um, okay, so it's great to know it's working now and fixed full screen not working on certain browsers. Okay, and fix um, Firebase action to sign into third party providers in a browser. Also, fix middle click drag not working. Okay, fix middle click drag not working in the yarn editor. And yeah, this is true, it wasn't working. Okay, fix middle click drag not working in the yarn editor. And fix red layout glitches after resizing the window. Okay, so these are the internal changes, improved typing for the part finding extension. And that's it, that's all for um, GDevelop 5 Beta 105. These are all the improvements, the bug fixes, and internal changes. And this is great. Okay, before we wrap up this video, do well to like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads and share this video okay so that's it thanks for watching see you guys in my next video